Hi, afternoon. Um, well, it's a new week, it's uh, Monday, and um, I have a little bit of time back to the hobby repairs. Um, and I thought we'd have another look at these uh, 8800 GT cards uh, that we were looking at last week. Um, so, as I said, in the meantime, let's push over here so you can actually see me a little bit. There we go. Um, in the meantime, I did what I said. I went on to uh, badcaps.net, which is a repair forum that has a, a GPU and a motherboard repair section. And I asked some of the guys on there, uh, all, the, all these Apple cards, can I test them? And uh, to be honest, there was a bit of a debate about that. Uh, initially, nobody was exactly certain. Um, there seemed to be some suggestion that, uh, okay, it's PCIe, so it should fit in the PC. Um, and there seems to be some sort of debate as what the difference is, but it seems that uh, an Apple uh, card should work in a PC, should. Uh, but a PC card would not or should not work in an Apple, something to do with the BIOS. Um, but then another guy came on and he said, at least one of these cards is actually an OEM uh, card for uh, Hewlett Packard. Uh, and it's actually a PC card. Oh, sorry, no, it's a Dell. Sorry, not your It's a Dell. He says from the part number, this is basically a Dell part number. Uh, and from that, this actually should be good for the PC. So after a bit of chatting and um, what should we do? I mean, the obvious thing was just stick them in the PC, Rich, and see what they do. You know? Um, so here we are today. Um, I thought we'll do just that. And we will stick them in the PC and we will see what they do and then see if we can... Uh, determine if there's actually anything wrong with these uh, do they both do the same thing that would be a good thing even if they don't work do they both do the same thing because if they both don't work in exactly the same way there's a good chance that that's not actually you know what i mean it's not the same fault on both cards maybe there is something in the bios maybe these apple ones that do work in the pc don't okay so after that bit of waffling um <clears throat> you've seen this rig before um, so we'll stick the uh, first one in and um, we'll connect the monitor. I'll put on the top one, I think. I'm not sure, I'm not sure you know if it even matters if you put the first first monitor in the top or the bottom one, uh, if there's two DVIs, but anyway, it's in the top. Um, power's on. Um, go. Oh! Didn't work, like did it? <laughs> That's the second time you've seen me do this, isn't it? I noticed there is actually uh, a little buzzer on the top of these cards. I'm sure that's what was actually making the noise. Uh, let's give that another go. Oh, that was Putin. And it stopped. 2A. I'm just feeling around to see if anything's getting warm all around here. No, not really. No. Okay, so it stopped uh, on 2A. Shall we see if we can actually see if that means anything? Um, quite often these post analyzers will give you uh, give you a code, but the answer, the, the, you know, the, what the code is doesn't tell you a lot. Uh, let's have a 2A. Initialize slot 10. Initialize a different buzz system. And output device. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Initialize output devices if present. So that saying is trying to initialize output devices, which I assume is this. And it can't initialize this. I wonder if that's because the BIOS, maybe these are for Apple, you know, and maybe. That is. Okay. I think we'll stick the other one in. Um, Ah, okay. That said 2A and then beat to say, oh, hold on. 
I said this before, didn't I? It went to 2A and beeped to say there's no graphics card. But as I mentioned, sometimes that means there's no monitor connected to the graphics card. So let's have a look at that. Pretty good, we go. Two A, B, B. Oh, looks like the computer's booted, but I don't see anything on the monitor. I'll just manually select. Uh, no, it's on DVR. No, okay. This one, it's detected it, and the computer's booted. Sorry, it's not detected it, and the computer booted, but it didn't stick on that two A. First thing that's going to tell us is they ain't the same. That's for sure. Ooh. This one's getting warm here. Some, something here is, is getting quite warm. Okay. So, what do we have? We have uh, two cards behaving differently. Uh, one goes to 2A which according to the analyzer is that it's checking for output devices i'll just check again sure it said output devices yeah initializing the different buzz systems static and output devices if present yeah so one sticking on two ways trying to initialize the graphics card and nothing's happening the other one goes to two a at that same point b beep 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 which says no graphics card present and then continues to boot but nothing's on the screen so they're different. Um, and this one, the one that beeps, is getting warm or well, hot actually, just just above the fan. Um, well, we need to have a look at these two cards. I think now we need to. Uh, we definitely have something different, so some, something we can look at. Um, so I think we need to see what's behind here. What's getting hot or warm? Uh, and measure all the voltages on, on all the voltage regulators and to see if we can see anything different there okay uh, i'm gonna switch to the other camera uh i'm gonna figure out how we can well, actually say figure out i know exactly how we're gonna look at these uh so that we can actually see on the camera above the desk and that we can probe around the board uh without the heat sink on uh and actually have a look to see what's happening okay guys i'm gonna switch to the camera and i'll see you in a few minutes